Good morning, second grade. I had promised you a trip to the butterfly garden, which was in the front of my house. This is it right here. And it is a collection of the host plants and the nectar plants that I talked about. So to start with, and I've cut this back a little bit, this is one of the nectar plants. This is called the butterfly bush. And the butterflies like to take the nectar. This is what they eat from. And once they eat from that, or sometimes they like to eat this over here. These are also nectar plants. Um, this is pentas. They like to eat from there. Um, this was a, I forgot what the name of this bush was, but they told me that this was also a nectar plant. So the butterflies like to eat. They also have a little plate where they like to puddle and get their water. It's usually filled with rocks, which I need to redo that. And then once they have eaten enough and they're ready to lay their eggs, they lay them on the host plants, which this is the milkweed we were talking about. That way when those caterpillars hatch, they have something that they can immediately start to eat off of. Now, these will um, release seeds and those seeds will blow through the air like we talked about. I walk over here, it just so happened that half my butterfly garden wound up over here in this pot. And I haven't disturbed it any because this is where I think a lot of those butterflies lay their eggs because this is where I find a lot of the caterpillars. Actually, here's one right here. Where is he? Right there. So this is where a lot of those Butterflies will tend to lay their eggs, and this is where the caterpillars start to eat, and then they will form a chrysalis somewhere. And they've been known to travel a long ways away sometimes to form those chrysalises, so sometimes they're hard to find. Okay, so it's another milkweed plant. Now another plant that I have going over here, this one the monarchs don't tend to like so much. Um, this is a passion vine. It was really big, beautiful flowers. There's some flowers starting up here. They're huge, they're beautiful. I think I have some pictures of some that I can share. But this is what the fritillary butterfly tends to like. So that's a different type of butterfly. And they will completely eat this entire bush. This entire vine will disappear once they start laying their eggs and the caterpillars start eating. So they've got a lot a lot of food going for them right there. But that's what the fritillary butterflies we usually land on. All right, so coming back over here. So all of our host plants and our nectar plants. Maybe even some going on this side over here. And I just love this little one right here. I know you're gonna giggle when I say this, but this is called a billy button plant. Not a belly button. Oh, they look like belly buttons. It's called a billy button plant. So these are all perennials, which means they come back year after year. So those butterflies have something always to eat from. Now I'm gonna go back up to the cage where I've been keeping the ones that I collected. And we have a Christmas up here. And I just spotted another one. This is how hidden they are. I just spotted another one in there. So we have two. And the one that we've been keeping our eye on is this third one right here. Where'd he go? Right there. And this one is so super cool because you can start to see the wings forming inside the chrysalis. So he's gonna be just maybe a couple more days, I'm hoping, before he starts to come out. And it happens so fast, I wish, I hope, I pray that I'm here when that happens. But sometimes it happens just so way too fast that we can't see it when it happens. But when it does, we're gonna notice that there's just this little thing swinging. That's an old chrysalis that a butterfly came out of. And when we see that happen, 
we know to look somewhere in the cage for it to be flying around. And that's when I'm going to be putting in some, a little bowl of water with some pebbles in it so they can drink. And then I'll also put some orange slices in there, but then we need to release them rather quickly. That's the fun part. All right, so a couple more days, I'll be sharing another video with you on the butterflies. Now, sadly, we did lose a couple of the caterpillars because like we said, they don't all make it to that chrysalis stage. It's just part of God's plan. But we do have this little guy to watch and two more up on top of the cage. But we hope to see some beautiful butterflies emerge. Stay tuned, it's getting close.